You took a $100 million fund and you did 20X on it and you got a 30% carry or promote on that. You would make, what do we say, the 100, so you start with billion and you're making 30% on the 900 million. million. Or, yeah, yeah. something million. By the same token, you're incentivized to go out and raise a $2 billion, $2 billion more because if you're getting 2.5% on the $2 billion, you would, and today without a preferred return, you're still making $50 million in management fees every year on that additional $2 billion. And if you're still able to make the 10x on the $100 million, you still end up with the same promote. And what's really frustrating, I think, is also that if we think about the power law effect of just a few companies driving all the returns, the incentive is also for you to raise that $2 billion because you know, hey, if I do more companies, I have a better opportunity to get a hold of that one. And as long as on that $2 billion, you return the fund, you know, a one X net and management fees, you're in a better off situation. You're in a better off position to have raised $2.1 billion than to have raised $100 million and done a 10 X return. It's actually even worse than you described because on the 100 X, you return a 10 X fund. You might make 270 million, but you don't make that 270 million until 15 years later. <laughs> With the management fees, you make it in year one, and so much so that you could actually borrow against your management fees. So you could borrow against, I think, up to five years out, year five, year six management fees. So it's as if you have like a $250 million blank check that somebody has given you on day one. It's like a lot of money today versus a hypothetical money in year 15.